Okay, originally I was supposed to talk about Oppenheimer. Um, but other people have done better jobs of that than me. My head is still not where it needs to be at the minute. It's a bit foggy and I need to re-familiarize myself with geopolitics from the mid 20th century. And I'm not in the mood for that right now. Uh, then I was going to talk about people hating on Barbie again, but I didn't want to do the same thing again. Uh, specifically, Boris Johnson, he, uh, he's had a bit of a go at it, which is rather pathetic for a man who used to have uh, nuclear control codes, but whatever. So I had another idea. I'm going to talk about the Meg too, because it had a 0% rating on Ron Tomatoes the other day, and the next day I went to see the film and I have thoughts on it. So we're going to roll the intro and then we're going to talk about this. So grab a cup of tea or coffee or whatever you want guys and let's have a chat. Alright, so the Meg 2 is obviously a follow-up to the Meg, which we'll talk about in a minute, but I'm going to read some of these reviews because it's getting a lot here. I'm not going to give names because that's not my business, but I can't give this movie zero stars. So 0 0.5 stars it is then. This movie was an absolute disaster. There was no plot whatsoever, and the story was so goddamn boring. If you want to waste your money on a seat, aircon, for, and for passing the time purposes only, sure, why not give this movie a try? But if you generally want to watch a movie, just don't. Which, yeah, fair enough. What else do we have here? Lost at Sea. It's okay until Act 3. Then it all goes fast and furious. AKA, it jumps the shark. First of all, that was Happy Days, not Fast and Furious. No, no, he's trying to say. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to call it JC here. He's right. Uh, not enough shark action. We'll disagree with that. Guess what? I got a fever. And the only prescription is more cowbell. Um. <laughs> Sadly, this film was all over the place. Not enough Meg. Too many plots to nowhere. There's nowhere. Nowhere. Yep. <laughs> Advertisement was misleading to say the least. Better luck next time. I don't know, I have to disagree with that. There was a lot, or, yeah, I could always do it with more Meg, but it really wasn't misleading. If you were misled going into this film, I feel worry about you. That's in French, we're not going to read that one. A huge octopus attacks a helicopter. The movie literally jumps the shark. Ah, I don't feel it that. Slower, less interesting, and less fun than the first. 90 minutes of absolutely nothing, followed by 25 minutes of the movie you actually came to see. I was hugely disappointed. Statham is the only reason I made it through. Okay, Tony C. Likes a bit of the Stath. Can't fault with that one. <laughs> Jason Statham needs to pay the bills, and also the bad movie. Okay, don't know what that means. Mark him. The tone was not funny, nor scary, nor clever. It felt like a hundred million dollar Sharknado. The effects were pretty good and it looks cool in 3D, but overall it's worse than the first. And that one wasn't very good either. How many sequels I do the first one? Come on. Definitely could have waited to stream this one. Yeah, wouldn't. I don't know. And if you look at a lot of newspapers, there's a lot of hate for it. In fact, it was in newspapers for getting so much hate. And I think that's a bit ridiculous. Um, look, I really enjoyed Barbie, you know that. And I've talked about also enjoying Oppenheimer, brilliant films in their own right. But they were trying to do something other than entertain to a certain extent. The Meg 2, that film was just about big sharks and Jason Staten. What is there not to like? <laughs> it's not trying to do anything. It's just being a fun popcorn movie. And it was fun. And a lot of people say it was boring. I don't say it was boring. There were some moments that were generally quite stressful. Um, yeah, so I feel like it's a bit 
it's a bit ridiculous to call it a terrible film because it's not trying to be a great film. And that may sound stupid, but that's the genre itself. It, it, even to call it a B movie is, yeah, kind of true, but I wouldn't even, I put it B plus or A minus level, if that makes sense. It's just a big, dumb, fun action film. It's the summer. <laughs> We're here to enjoy movies, why not? You know, not everything out there doesn't have to teach us something. I think people worry too much about these things. At the end of the day, it's just a silly movie that we know is unrealistic because it's about giant sharks that have been extinct for millions of years. Coming up from the bottom of the ocean where they live in some and seeing ecosystem that they can survive in. That makes absolutely no sense. Yeah, people are complaining. And yeah, it, it it goes ridiculous. So basic plot of this one is, uh, first of all, they killed off Lee Bing Bing's character off screen. Uh, people aren't too sure why. They think the actress is retired, but there's no word on that. Uh, so the little girl from the first film is now being raised in joint by her unseen uncle from the first film. He was never there or mentioned. And Jason Statham. So that's pretty cool. Like, you know, go them. <laughs> and, uh, you know, she's just there. Uh, so that's that. So he's sort of, Statham's now stepped up to being a dad. Uh, anyway, uh, they're, they're studying the baby Meg or pop Meg from the first film. It was left over. Uh, it breaks out. Um, when they go back down into the trench to begin to find it, or you know, it follows them actually down to the trench, it turns out that all the mags are breeding. Ugh. So you get a bit of mag sex. And uh, then there's a whole big disaster because there's stuff going on down there. I won't get into it because I don't want to spoil the plot. It was just a dumb film. Point is, three mags and a giant octopus escape. Are you not entertained? And all hell breaks loose. There's definitely a few odes to the Jurassic, original Jurassic Park. It, this one deviates even more heavily from the Meg books, I think, than the original. Uh, they do deviate a lot. Not that I think anyone's really going to care. Which is fine. <laughs> but yeah, I, it, it's just a dumb, fun film. And it's there to be enjoyed. It's not avant-garde art. You don't have to think about it. And sometimes that's good. Like I had a particularly stressful week and it was fun on Friday night to meet up with a couple of friends, get some popcorn, sit down in the cinema. We saw it in 4DX. So there was water being blasted, the seats were moving. Just sit down and just enjoyed it. Uh, and didn't think too hard about it. Now, if you want a good, accurate shark film, I'd say Jaws 2 is probably a good place to start. <laughs> and if you want to see, if you think this is the worst film you've ever seen, try Jaws 3. It's, oh, it's awful. Or Jaws 3D, whatever it's called. the other terrible shark films that exist out there. There's there an entire genre of them. But the Meg 2 is far from the worst. And if you're giving it a half a star rating or a one star rating, I, God, I, I don't think it deserves that. Mostly because when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, it had some cool action set pieces. The effects weren't terrible. The action was kind of fun. <laughs> it, it, it knew when it, it knew to be silly. So, oh, and hell, there was actually, you know, I know people said there wasn't plot, but there was actually a plot arc for some things. So at the end of the day, I would say that this is a best mid tier. At worst, yeah, two star. It's not the worst film out there is all I'm saying. And anyone telling you this is the worst thing I've ever seen, Go watch Birdemic. Now that is a film that deserves very, very low ratings. So that's my advice. Check it out if you want a big dumb film 
And if you're off seen this film and you think it's the worst film you've ever seen, watch Birdemic. Because <laughs> that is a animals gone wild film that is probably one of the worst films I've ever seen. And that's my uh, review for you. So I'm going to get some more work done here, guys. And then we'll talk later. So, finish off my tea.